Hi everyone and welcome. Today I wanted to try something a bit different and showcase some of my favorite Outward outfits. I will showcase six of them in this video and encourage you to share some of your favorite outfits in the comments and I will try to showcase them in another video. Let's dive right into it. So for the first outfit I wanted to create a medieval knight looking aesthetic and I simply think the result is pretty convincing. I went for a black plate helm, which is simply my favorite helm in the game. Then I go for the plate boots and chest plate, as they are not too fantasy looking and complement the helm pretty well. Then the choice of weapon is pretty obvious to me, and I had to go with a marble mace, my favorite weapon in the game, and the crimson shield. I wanted a large shield that did not look too out of place, and I really liked this one. You can also get it pretty early in the game, and it is actually a very good shield. As a finishing touch, I use a Bregan's backpack. I really needed something that was not too flashy and the Bacon's backpack seemed a good fit. I must say that I completed a playthrough with this build, so it is actually quite viable though clearly not optimized. For the second outfit, I wanted to have something that reminded me of Monster Hunter. So bulky armor and big weapons with parts coming from big monsters. This is an outfit I used before the release of the DLCs and I actually quite like it. So I use the full Amolite set, as it is the most bulky set in the game, and looks like it is made of monster parts, though it is shells. Then I use the Manticore Great Mace, because well, I mean it is literally the tail of one of the most annoying monsters in the game. The backpack was an obvious choice. I went for the Scaled Satchel, because well, it is made of monster skin. I really like this outfit, and I must admit it is really fun to use, especially if you incorporate Predator Leap and Juggernaut into your build. Some of you may already be familiar with my third outfit, as it is the one I used in my first live Definitive Edition playthrough. I always loved armors and weapons that looked elvish or nature made, so I really wanted to have something like this in Outward. I used the Petrified Wood outfit and the Coral Horn bow for this. Though these might not be the most powerful items in the game, they are just way too good looking. I then combine it with the Chalcedony backpack because it really fits the general color scheme for the armor. I really think this is an underused backpack so let's give it some love. For my fourth outfit I really wanted something that looked like a sun warrior. So I tried to find every item that had some sun like features. There were three obvious choices which were the runic helm, the sunful axe and the palladium shield. I could have used the fabulous Palladium shield, but I think it does not fit the color scheme of the rest of the outfit that well. Then to make the set complete, I just wanted items that blended well with the rest. I went with the red clansate robe, the runic boots and the glowstone backpack. This outfit will probably be a hit or miss for many people. It is clearly not my favorite, but I think the result is pretty decent and very fitting for the original theme. For my fifth outfit, I wanted to do something with the Pathfinder chest piece. I love this piece, but I really despise the helm of this set, so I needed something different. I went for the Horicalcal helm, since it is a variation of a black plate helm that I like so much. For the boots, I could have used the Pathfinder boots, but I really wanted something that looked a bit more armored, so I used the plate boots. Choosing a weapon for this set was actually quite hard, but I remembered that I used this outfit in an old video called Outward Fate. And I went with the same weapons, Rondel Dagger and Steel Saber. It really gives me a bit of a bandit boss vibe and I just love it. Then I use the Prospector Backpack because it simply looks way too good. It is a very simple backpack, but I just love that it has a unique way of hanging the lantern. Okay, so my last outfit for this video is a bit special, as it really is pure fashion. Completing the game in this gear set might prove a bit difficult as it mainly uses early game items. I really wanted to have a Viking Raider look, and though I personally think it looks incredible, it is probably best to use with the Transmog mod. So I use the Silver Helm with the padded boots and chest. For the weapons I use the Iron Axe and the Iron Shield. I wanted something pretty discreet for the backpack, so I picked the Adventurer backpack. I really love the look of this outfit, and it is such a shame we don't have some more powerful enchantments for these items to make them more viable. I am wondering how this axe enchanted with unsuspected strength would perform. 
Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do not hesitate to give me your favorite outed fashions in the comments so I can feature them in a future video. Also, if you like my content, you can subscribe to my channel and like the videos. This helps me more than you think. I'll see you again. Bye.